Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you are watching this video, Active Jackson. Um, my name is Greg Monroe. I'm part of the Active Jackson Coalition, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the Falling Waters Trail that we have to offer here in Jackson County. I'm currently at the Weatherwax Trailhead, and I'm just going to take you on a, a, a nice journey. You can... Um, see what the trail has to offer. You can see what kind of things you'll have to see, different crossroads, um, all of that fun stuff that comes with exploring Jackson County's trails. And uh, we'll see you in a minute when we get out there. Okay, here we are at the Falling Waters Trail Connector. This is on Weatherwax Drive. And I just wanna point out a, uh, a couple of things here. One, is you'll find these signs right here. This is a connector. If you turn, um, which is east, that will be the MLK Trail. What I'm gonna show you is we're going to head west on the Falling Waters Trail, and it will tell you where you can find an air pump. Um, here, an air pump can be found right there at Sparks Park, um, and it will tell you how far you can get there. Um, it's a 25 minute walk or a 10 minute bike ride. We're gonna be heading this way, and if you can see, um, it shows that uh, Lime Lake, which is located in Spring Arbor, is a 6.6 .6 mile ride, and to get to Concord is just gonna be 10.4 miles. And we're gonna, and I'm gonna show you the entirety of the trail, but we're gonna, I'm gonna be cutting. You're not gonna be watching all of it. Um, I'll just show you the important things so you can get an idea of what to expect. I will note here at the Weatherwax cross section, it is a busy intersection. I think overall people are pretty good about um, watching out for bike riders and walkers and uh, wheelchair users, um, but you're still gonna wanna be uh, careful when you're crossing that intersection. If you park at the trailhead, like I did, um, you're okay. There, there's a, a connector um, sidewalk that's wide enough for um, a, a wheelchair and a bicycle to get by side by side. But here we have the start of the Falling Waters Trail. And this is on an old railroad bed. And this is just some of the things that you can see while you're out here. Here we're coming up to one of my favorite things and that are pretty great on the Falling Waters Trail is that there are markers, benches, and trash cans all along the trail. So you can actually sit down and enjoy the sun when it's shining through. Um, you can go exploring. You can just listen to nature that's all around you. It's a great way to just come out here, relax, and take it easy. Come around that bend up there and it will be coming to another road and we'll check that out in a little bit. Okay, here we are coming up to our first crossroad. We just came um, from the east and heading west, heading towards Lime Lake. That's gonna be our main, one of our main objectives for this uh, uh, video. So here we are coming up to Reynolds Road. Um, all of the crosswalks are protected by these bollards to make it uh, to where there's no motorized vehicles on these trails. And this is, can be a busy road as well. So just make sure that you're paying attention to the traffic as you're going by 
Um, you'll see signs that have the trail rules and prohibited uses, all of that fun stuff that comes with any public activity that you can do. And as you can see right down there to the right is another trash can and bench for you to relax and just soak in all of the nature that you can hear going around. One of the great things about this trail is that it is flat. Um, as I said earlier, um, it is on an old railroad bed. So this, this is great for beginners, great for advanced, um, all type of level of um, people who want to be active and just get out there and enjoy what Jackson has to offer. All right, we just um, crossed the, we came from that way, uh, which is east, the Reynolds Road crossing. And now this is Moscow Road and we'll continue on. You'll cut through these bollards. And if you're coming from the Weatherwax trailhead and Lime Lake is your destination, once you get to this point and you hear this, the rapids of this river going through here, you'll know that you are almost there. This right here, when I'm coming here uh, either by myself or with friends and family, is a spot that I always just stop and take in the scenery because it's absolutely beautiful. Along this way, on this next stretch, um, you'll see a couple of more trash cans. You'll see some birdhouses along the trail. Um, right before I could get my camera out, I saw a couple of deer. And so it's just, it's just amazing out here. It's beautiful, especially when you come out and it's nice and warm. It's a little chilly today because it's early in the morning when I'm filming this, but you will not have regrets. All right, now we are making it to Lime Lake. This is the north side. The Falling Water Trail cuts through the lake, making it into two small lakes, the North Lime Lake and the South Lime Lake. You'll see an increase in wildlife out this way. I apologize for the wind. got benches along the way here as well, including uh, picnic tables. So you can uh, bring out your picnic lunch basket. And here we have the South Lime Lake. And as you can hear, it is a windy day. Hi, still at Lime Lake. I just wanted to take the time to um, point out that um, along the Falling Water Shell, they have these signs that talk about the area where you're, where you're at at that moment. For example, like this just talks about the Lime Lake area. It talks about dredging, gives you some history, um, all of that fun stuff. They have a couple of benches here uh, with a great view of the lake. And then I wanted to point out, this is new, that uh, the county is uh, starting. Um, it's not complete at the time of this video, but they are working on a connector. So this connector right here that you see will actually head north and it will connect to M60 right in Spring Arbor. 
And once you get to Spring Arbor, you'll have different options. Um, there's McDonald's, Marino's, it's home of Spring Arbor University is right there. Um, if you head west a little bit, once you get onto M60, there's um, an ice cream store. I don't know if they're still in business or not, but last I checked they were, and uh, I hear you can get some pretty delicious treats there. Um, there's also um, a couple of restaurants in there that you can have access to as well. The world is your oyster. Now, as we continue moving west, the next bit I'm going to show you is the Limehead Trailhead and what they have to offer at that point of interest as well. Hang tight. Okay, got an update. Um, I happened to run into a historian who was walking um, this beautiful trail. And uh, as you can see, I'm still at the spot where um, this is the connector that will head to M60 in Spring Arbor. Uh, but I got a little history on here, and what, uh, another thing that I found out that makes this trail unique is it's one of very few that actually has a dive site. So these benches were specifically made for divers to come and uh, load on their tanks, take their tanks off, etc. I should also note that um, this is not an area for you to swim. Uh, he, I was told that they had to get a permit. They put a tarp down right here and they put um, rocks on top of that to make it solid uh, to go out into the lake. But this is actually a dive site. So uh, you're not supposed to be swimming here. Um, and uh, there, the signs will be coming back up as long as people don't vandalize. But I just thought that was really cool that um, here at the Lime Lake area, we have a dive site connected to the Falling Waters Trail. So very cool. Okay, as you're continuing west um, from Lime Lake, this is the Lime Lake Trailhead. Here you can find uh, a bike pump for those of you who are riding your bike. There is a cleanup after your pet uh, waste container. And they have bathrooms here. Um, at the trailheads, you will find these uh, trailhead maps and stuff. And, and some you can take with you. And it just shows um, all of the uh, Jackson County parks around here. And it has the, the trail and what to expect. Um, we're at 11 right here, the Lime Lake County Park. And we're gonna uh, go ahead and head towards um, number five right there um, at, uh, in Concord uh, that you'll see today. But here, um, if you want to ride into Concord or you just want to walk and have a picnic um, down at one of the picnic tables at Lime Lake, you can come and you can park right here. Now this is off of Teft Road um, here in Spring Arbor. So if you're on M60 and, and you turn at Marino's Pizza and you have the post office right there, that's Teft Road, um, you can come right down here. And as you can see, um, those are solar lights. So it's even lit up when it, it, it gets a little darker. So um, uh, you'll feel safe at all times while you're out here. And then, so that's Teft Road um, right up there that we'll cross. Um, and after we cross Teft Road, it's gonna start to slow down in terms of the roads that you cross are not as um, busy as like Moscow Road and Reynolds Road that we crossed. Um, and so uh, we'll continue heading down that way.